Welcome to Techverse, where we bring you the latest tech insights with passion and clarity. Today, we have a major announcement that could shake up the Windows ecosystem. So buckle up and prepare to learn all about Microsoft's newest move regarding processor support on Windows 11 24H2. Microsoft dropped support for Intel's 10 Gen processors on Windows 11 24H2 for OEMs, updated. Windows 11 24H2 will no longer support Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th Gen core processors on OEM systems from now on, recommends newer chips Microsoft has officially dropped the support for several generations of Intel processors on Windows 11's latest version, 24H2. This is regarding only OEMs and not users which means newer OEM machines after Microsoft's mandate with any of these processors won't receive a Windows 11 24H2 update, which may make things difficult for OEMs. However, users who already own these chips can still get the latest Windows 11 updates. In a recent announcement by Microsoft, it excluded all of Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th gen processor-based OEM systems from the Windows 11 version 24H2 support list. It's bizarre since Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th Gen CPUs do support TPM 2.0, which is a hardware-based security feature required for Windows 11. Still, Microsoft has suddenly decided that they will only support Intel's 12th Gen and recent processors. This update doesn't mean that anyone running one of these CPUs won't be able to run Windows 11 on their OEM systems, or their system won't be able to apply newer updates and patches but it means that they may no longer receive the latest Windows updates if they purchase an OEM PC with those chips from now on, since OEMs won't be able to provide them with the Windows 11 24H2 version. It's still shocking to see such an update, since the 10th Gen was released in the 2019-2020 to time frame and qualifies for running Windows 11. Microsoft says that it will only support processors that meet the design principles of security and reliability, to run the latest version of Windows 11. At the same time, it has added various new processor models from Intel and AMD to the list. Windows 11 24H2 will be supported on AMD's 8000 processors, desktop and pro mobile series. And here are the compatible models now. Let's unpack why this matters so much. The decision to limit support for Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th gen processors on OEM systems suggests that Microsoft is pushing for a future-proof Windows 11 environment, focusing on newer chips that align with advanced security features, power efficiency, and possibly better integration with AI-driven functionalities. While existing users with these older processors can still update their Windows 11 to 24H2, the real impact its OEMs that plan to ship brand new PCs containing these now unsupported chips. This shift might mean we'll see fewer budget-friendly or mid-tier OEM PCs carrying these slightly older Intel processors. If you're someone who wants to buy a new PC, you may find fewer OEM options featuring the 10th gen or older Intel chips. On the flip side, Microsoft stance underscores the importance of future-proofing your hardware investment, especially as the Windows 11 platform evolves to incorporate more robust security features like TPM 2.0, advanced virtualization-based protections, and potential AI integration in upcoming builds. For enthusiasts who prefer to build or upgrade their systems, this decision may not pose a huge hurdle since existing 8th, 9th, and 10th gen Intel-based setups can still receive Windows 11 updates. However, it does signal that if you're eyeing a fresh OEM system, you might want to consider a device running Intel's 12th gen or newer CPUs to ensure ongoing support, especially as Microsoft tightens the reins on what it deems compatible hardware. Additionally, the mention of AMD's 8000 series processors indicates that Microsoft is expanding official support for more recent AMD hardware, possibly ensuring these chips also meet the same security and reliability standards. This could be a win for AMD fans looking for official confirmation that their chosen hardware will integrate seamlessly with future Windows 11 updates. What's really intriguing is how Microsoft frames this as adhering to design principles for security and reliability. It suggests that the company is prioritizing hardware-level features that go beyond mere CPU speed. We might see a stronger push toward advanced encryption, 
improve virtualization, or dedicated AI accelerators that can help Windows 11 unlock next-level functionalities. While this might be frustrating for those who love the 10th Gen or older Intel chips, it also hints at an exciting trajectory for Windows 11, one that focuses on modern hardware capabilities and keeps pace with rapidly evolving computing demands. In short, Microsoft's move is both a nod to progress and a challenge for those clinging to older silicon. From a consumer perspective, it's a reminder to think carefully about hardware longevity when purchasing a new system. For OEMs, it's a clear mandate. If you want your new machines to be recognized as fully compatible with the latest Windows 11 versions, you need to incorporate the hardware that meets Microsoft's updated standards. Whether you view this as a necessary step forward or a frustrating limitation likely depends on your perspective. Enthusiasts might see the advantages of cutting-edge tech, while cost-conscious buyers might lament the diminishing choices at the entry level. Nevertheless, Microsoft's stance indicates a future where Windows 11 is tightly integrated with hardware-level security, advanced AI features, and power efficiency. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Microsoft's decision to drop support for Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th gen processors on Windows 11 24 H2 OEM systems. We hope this helps you navigate your next PC purchase or upgrade decision, and if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights. This is Techverse signing off.